Hey there, this is Eric from SolarGravity.com, and I am here to demonstrate how you can make someone smile in Photoshop. It's a technique that you can utilize if someone in your favorite photograph is frowning and ruining that perfect shot. This is a real easy way to make that correction. We're going to load up Photoshop CC, and I'm on a Windows based platform. We're going to go to a new document, and I already have our subject, which is going to be Mona Lisa, in my clipboard. And we're going to simply paste her in. We can delete this background layer. There's no need for that. And I like to duplicate and have a secondary copy of our layer that we're going to be working on. We can call this one base layer. And this one can be our working. What we're going to do is we're going to zoom in a little bit just to take a look at this image here. We have enough resolution. This is a test image that you can download off of my site if you want to practice. It tends to make a pretty good subject to learn this technique. We're going to start off by selecting the lasso. And we're going to draw a lasso around her mouth. The outside layer, looking good. Definitely enough room to manipulate. What we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to go to Feather. Sometimes you'll want to go 7 pixels, maybe up to 15. 12 is a good number for now. Let's select 12. That's going to create a nice feather pattern on this mask that we have here. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go up to Edit and down to Puppet Warp. When you select Puppet Warp, you actually have to come up here and say Show Mesh. That will allow us to see the mesh that will be used for this distortion. And you're going to want to go to the density and select more points. When we zoom in here, you can see that this gives us a nice area to work with. And once you get the hang of this, you'll be able to gauge what amount of mesh that you'll actually need. Let's put it at 3 with the expansion. Yeah, that looks good. Once you have that set, you can turn off Show Mesh so it's hidden. You can also hide this mask so that you don't have to see these lines. And what we're going to do is we're going to come along and trace around the outside of her mouth with some points. You know, you're going to want to make sure that they're not too close together, but you definitely want to cover around the area. That should be good there. You can see if we see show mesh, you can see that we're in that area. Sometimes you can leave the mesh on. When you can see the outline of her mouth and the outline of the points, it makes it easier to manipulate. Next, we're going to move our mouse over one of these pinpoints and drag. You can see how we can start to manipulate the smile already. It's a fairly quick process. I'm going to exaggerate the smile a little bit so we can see exactly how it's used. And with each photo, you're going to need to tweak it the way that you want it to be, depending on the smile, the angle, shadows. But let's take a look at that. Let's zoom out a little bit. We're going to see that she's definitely smiling. You can go up here and use your Move tool, and it's going to say Apply. We're going to apply that warp, and there you go. She's smiling. Here's the before and after. There's definitely an increase in her smiling right there. That's all you need to do. You can delete your base layer once you're done. And that does it for this tutorial. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit my site, solargravity.com, and subscribe to my channel, and you will see more tutorials coming in the future. See you then.